just a couple of animals. Do -do 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 -do. So I actually uh, took today off, it's Monday, took it off at work um, because it's crunch time, I gotta get the car done. So. You know you're a Corolla gearhead when you got a Corolla rear end and an engine stand sitting outside. <laughs> All right, first things first, it's cold as ball, so we're gonna go get the space heater going in the garage. Yep. How are my girls? All right. So, uh, got the exhaust back from my buddy Andrew. Um, Fida goes by Doozer um, or Fiber Spoke these days. Um, it's beautiful. Hope this is focusing okay. Um, beautiful downpipe he made. So, thank you, man. Um, he made the last one as well. Um, Part of the issue is the exhaust manifold um, flange sits a little low, so it, it kind of forces the exhaust to make kind of a sudden bend here, and it's funky. Um, so you're kind of fighting it as it is. Um, so we, I, I wore through this part of the pipe. Um, I'll insert some video, and I wore through the flex pipe here. So as a precaution, we did go ahead and add an extra layer here of skin and material. So if I do jump curbs and stuff kind of thing, I hit this and scrape it. Um, it offers a little bit more protection than just the one single wall there. Uh, we did also add the shield here, which should flex um, as it hits the ground and pr protect the flex pipe because we want to keep that in, in, intact. This was actually leaking and um, creating a, an exhaust leak. So um, we wanted to definitely um, add something to hit other than the flex pipe. So um, hopefully it works out. Hopefully it doesn't hit the ground too, too much, um, but it should just bend and wear itself away. So is the theory behind it, um, but it is a beautiful looking piece and we're about ready to install it. Also on the cards is, um, I know these two pieces will pretty much look the same. From the camera here these will probably look the same but one is actually uh, mounted to a distributor adapter and the other one is not this is the older timing puck that we tuned the car and everything on um, I had suspicions that maybe that had something an issue going on so I got a new one um, but it only made problems a little bit worse so um, we're gonna go ahead and put the old one back on put that back in the car as well as the exhaust and should be able to get us a little bit closer to figuring out what's going on with the car. All right, so I got the uh, the downpipe sort of mounted. Um, it's kind of hanging, it can kind of swing a little bit, but that seems to be where it wants to be, which is pretty nice and level. So it's time to get the exhaust in and kind of make sure everything works together and then tighten everything up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
get the pipe where we want it. Tighten it down. Here. Oh, we definitely want to keep that away from the ground. Yeah, we're gonna need a different size. Yo, Andrew, thank you, dude. All the way out. It's hard to get a good angle, but like, whole exhaust, dude. All the way out. And the clearance. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. This will work, dude. Alright, well, um, if you can't tell, the power just went out because of the storm. So, uh, at this point, there's not a whole lot to do. Then, uh, I'm gonna crack open a beer and sit out and try to enjoy the storm as much as possible and eat. And uh, hope it comes on pretty soon and we can get back to work. Um, Cause I don't have enough spotlights to really finish. We did get the exhaust on, but I wanna do the timing stuff. Um, so yeah, pause until power. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're done with that, that break. It's, uh... All right, it's about an hour later, and uh, sun's out, and we're all good to go. So back into it, gonna get the timing done. All right, this is a uh, 11.30 seconds. Not here. There's a uh, slot in this part, so you gotta get it lined up. Okay, so now it's in together. Put the nuts back on. So this is the piece all together, and um, it only really fits in one way because there's these two tabs. So it's basically one line that goes to the cam, but it's slightly off center, as you can see. Uh, the side on the bottom, it's it's closer to the side on the bottom, and <clears throat> obviously the bolt for the um, adjustment here is in the same location. So I've already kind of looked at it, and uh, it should be roughly this position right now. So I'm gonna try to slip it in without moving this too much and sneak it in the back of the cam, uh, bolt it in, clip in the harness, and try her out.
All right. Now let's see what she does. We did get the exhaust in, got the time cut in, got the car running today. Um, it's running really rich. Um, there's some other issues. Right now I'm charging the battery because it took so long to start it. And I guess next we could tackle the over fender and the vinyl that we have to do on the car. Uh, some other little stuff that we can tackle. And next is scheduling a trip to the tuner and let t Tony take a look at it, dial everything else in, get it back to where it should be and go from there. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now it's back to reality, back to real life obligations and to edit this video. Till next time, guys, thanks.